What's going on hikers? In today's video, we are gonna be cleaning up some gear and you're coming along for the ride. We're also gonna wash some of my stinky, nasty clothing. I'm gonna show you how I get the stench out and then uh, let's see if we can clean up these dirty old trail runners. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jeremiah Stringer and here we talk about all things hiking and backpacking. So that's what this video is about. How can we bring some life back to this dirty old stinky gear that I've been using out on the trail and uh, how do I get the stench out of these clothes? Because to be honest with you, I just got back last weekend from a trip in Red River Gorge and my clothes have just been laying in the laundry room and my wife has been like, when are you gonna wash these disgusting clothes? Like every time I walk into the laundry room, it just stinks. I say, be patient, babe. I wanna make a video with this. So let's get started. Hey, Golden Green. Hey, baby. Oh, nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the springtime allergies too. Yeah. So first thing I like to do is, as you can see, we got some like caked on mud from this trip. And I don't love leaving these laying around the house because, well, it just gets the floor dirty. So if you just come outside or on your way home, smack your shoes together. It's gonna sound like gunshots, I'm not gonna lie. So probably what's gonna happen is the people in my subdivision are gonna be scared to death, but don't tell them. Get these clean and then we'll wash them up. All right, now that we got the excess dirt knocked off these, we're gonna go back inside. I'm freezing my honey off out here because it's still cold. We're gonna grab my backpack, my Osprey Atmos 65 liter, give it a good washing, see how clean we can get it. I've been using this thing for like <laughs> pretty much two years, nonstop, never been clean. It's got some wear and tear on it. And we'll also see how clean we can get these nasty old trail runners. Let's go. Gear avalanche. All right, while the bathtub's filling up, I'm gonna go grab a brush and some soap so we can get this thing nice and tidy clean. Now we've got the tub all full with hot water. Let's get rid of all the nasty. And let's see just how much dirt soup we can actually make. Basically all I'm doing right now is stirring up the water, getting the soap mixed around. That way I can keep making this dirt soup. You can already see it's pretty nasty. Oh no, <laughs> we lost the drain. <laughs> Crisis averted. Uh, I'm gonna take this and uh, go ahead and see if we can scrub some of this dirt off. You can already see the trail runners are a lot cleaner. I may catch a little flack for this, but I don't know, if you smell my shoe, you would know how awful it really is. Get the other one, seen better days. How much to drink it? Oh, you didn't think I was gonna do it, did you? Dude, look at this. This is pretty disgusting. Here's my thoughts. The longer I can like extend the life of this gear, the better it is for me. Cause I don't know how much money your budget is for gear. Mine's pretty slim. So $300 for a backpack, $200 for a backpack. I wanna make it last for as long as I can. Good thing about Osprey though is they'll replace it for any reason. So if I were to completely blow this out, they're gonna give me a new one. As for the trail runners, I'm using up the life on these, but even sitting around at the house, they smell terrible. But I'll show you something a little later in the video that will help take care of the smell on top of washing these. All 
All right, so if we look at the tub, you'll be able to see there's still a lot of like dirty residue. So last thing I'm going to do is just use the shower and I'll use it to rinse off the, you know, the rest of this backpack and stuff and to clean this tub because my wife will kill me if I leave it like this. I'm going to leave this gear out to dry outside for a little while and I'm going to show you my secret weapon on getting the stink out of this laundry because it seems like no matter how much you wash it there's always that like stinky mildewy smell that sticks with it. Alright here we go. I'm just kidding, it's not that bad, but these are pretty stinky. Uh, these are my base layers that I didn't take off for three days on this backpacking trip to Red River Gorge. And it's time to get these nice and clean. And I don't know what it is about my backpacking clothes and my gym clothes, I guess just the sweat, but it seems even though I'm buying like this wick away stuff, they just kind of hold the stench. And it kind of smells, like I said before, mildewy. And so I was pretty happy whenever today's video sponsor, they reached out to me and they said, hey, you're a stinky backpacker, right? Why don't you try our product and see if it works for you? I was like, okay, what do you have in mind? They said, look, we'll sponsor a video. We want you to just try our product and then tell us if it works or not. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do for you. So my wife has been loving this because I keep doing laundry over and over and over trying out this product for you and for me. And it's called Odor Cleanse. And basically my review is short and sweet. It's an additive. You put it in with your laundry just like you will with laundry detergent. And you use just regular laundry detergent and put in however much the direction say for the load that you're using. We're gonna do a larger load, so it'd be about half a cup and then it just kind of takes the stink out. I don't know, I don't know how it works. I don't know the science behind it. All I know is it's worked well for me so far. And the only gripe I did have with it is that it worked fine, but um, on one load in particular, I had some gym clothes that I put in there and um, it still left like a little white residue, kind of like if you did the, the powdered Tide, if you will. And so I didn't love that, but it's only happened once and maybe it's my fault, maybe I just used too much. So I'm excited to hear back from the company and, and see what they tell me moving forward. They also sent me this stuff that I've been putting in my shoes, like my gloves, anything I don't um, wash a whole lot. And it's a powder, so odor cleanse sport, not the additive that you put into the laundry, but I put it in my inserts and it worked just fine. You know, I didn't walk around work with my stinky inserts with my boss telling me, hey, you need to be more professional. Your shoes stink. Because I do switch out my inserts from, you know, my shoes I wear to work to my shoes I wear backpacking due to plantar fasciitis. Um, the only thing I didn't love about it is, you know, if it gets wet, you kind of get this kind of gunky feeling if you don't dust it all out. So keep that in mind. If you guys want to check out more or if you want to buy some for yourself and see how it works for you, like it's been working for me, I'll link it in the description. But let's put it to the test right now and check and see how it works for us. I can't believe I'm showing you guys my undies. You can probably hear it, washers ready to rock and roll. May have snuck some of Bridget's clothes in there too, don't tell her. Now we just play the waiting game so we can sniff the roses of the clean laundry. One hour later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Now for the all-important smell test. What would be the smelliest? Probably my underwear, right? Ah, let's just get a handful. You're never gonna believe this. <laughs> it smells like laundry, which is exactly what we wanted. No musky, mildewy, nasty smell left over. I hate that wet clothes smell. 
All right, folks, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you comment, give me one of these, subscribe for more, kick that notification bell to be notified. We'll see you in the next video. I'm still here.